Hi crafty friends, this is Jen Gross. I'm also known as Journey Coach Jen and I am going to show you how to make this cute little bunny. We're going to do some Olo coloring with this sweet little guy. So I am using from Mama Elephant's Lunar Animals the little rabbit and so these are the Chinese animals for the Chinese New Year and this is the year of the rabbit so I thought this little cute dancing rabbit would be just simply adorable to color and create so I've made some fun New Year's cards as you saw earlier so let's go ahead um, and use my Olo markers the first marker I'm going to grab here is one of my favorites it's actually a color that I use a lot for a base it is called pug and as I grab it here it is something that I'm going to do with a layering technique. I like to do different layers. So this marker here is the Olo marker. This half is called Pug. It is 7.1. It is part of the orange family. And what I really want to do here is just give a little bit of definition as to where the shadows are on this rabbit. So we're going to work with the left hand side being the shaded side and the right hand side is where the light is coming from. So I'm going to give some shadows here on the left leaving the right side lighter so that this is where we're going to be putting our layers of color and this kind of shows you where things are going again i like to start with a lighter color because it allows you an opportunity to see where that color is going to go and again the layering technique i am using is going to blend so before i get there let's go ahead and grab the red point two it's a 0 0.2 and what i want to do is give little upside down um, half circles under the cheeks a little flick here in the ear to give a little pink in the ear and oh we're going to do that nose too that little pink color so he's starting to come to life as you can see he's adorable so now let's go ahead and do some more layering olo is an alcohol based marker and i've started using them in august this is the warm gray colors here i have a warm gray zero and a warm gray zero one so what i'm doing here it's a lighter color than the pug so i'm going a little bit thicker and this is allowing the ink to blend out into the paper and the paper i'm using is sweet sentiments um, coloring cardstock that is the one that i really like to use with alcohol markers so we're just going over those lines the pug lines but a little bit thicker again these are great markers to to blend with and i've really enjoyed coloring with them i'm using the brush tips and this one here is a red gray the red gray line I think is probably one of my favorites for the grays it has a red undertone and so we are not going very thick with this it's a little bit darker so what I'm doing is just a thinner line over those initial shadows and this is a flick technique to give a little bit of an area that looks like hair brushing in and blending so what you do is you put the brush tip down and you flick upward and away quickly now we're doing this outline again and as we go through the layers, you're going to see that this will blend out a little bit and we'll come back and give it a little more definition with this red gray a little bit later on. But you can see our little bunny's coming to life. He's dancing. Um, he's looking cute and warm gray again here again with the layers. I want to do this as a flick of the nose to give the nose dimension. So I just put it at the top of the little pink nose and flick it upward quickly to give it a little brushed effect. Now we're going to go in with one of my favorites again, light periwinkle. These really light colors allow you to give a very different definition to what you're doing. When you look at white, you don't just see, especially under light, you don't just see it as white with different tones. You do see other colors in it. If you take a look at snow, you'll see it picks up what's around here. So this light periwinkle is a very light purple and it just gives a new definition to your image. And so I like to utilize that. It's so light, you just barely see a hint of it. So let's go ahead and you can see, you know, we've got another color here. We're going back to the pug, again, layering and blending. So I'm going back over that. I'm not going super thick, but I'm going over the um, red gray again to help blend that out. And you can see that that gives a little bit more shape to our bunny. I think he is adorable. And you can see him right next to those other ones. So you can see him really coming to life as we continue to color with him. Now go back to the warm gray with the zero and this we're going thicker. Again, it looks like it's going on darker, but as it dries, it will dry lighter. You've got to remember that these are alcohol based, they're wet. And so that wetness gives it a little bit more darkness as it goes down on the paper, but it dries a lot lighter. 
Now we're going back to that red gray and that's the number three. Now we're going to do a thin line again and this gives it the definition and you can see that that shadow is really popping now with the little bunny. Give it to his legs and his feet. Again, the light is coming from that right area and so you're shading the left. So now let's go ahead and let me grab another color here. All right, so this is that light periwinkle again, and I am going over the white areas again because you don't see something as a pure white. It just really gives it a definition and a hint of that, um, that curvature. So here is our sweet little bunny. He is done. I think he's adorable. I hope you enjoyed the Olo tutorial teaching you how to create this sweet little bunny with layering different colors. Olos are a fun marker to use, and I hope you are inspired to create something lovely today. Thanks, and happy creating!